Would you run if you knew you'd never get tired, never feel pain? It seems like a silly question. Of course running hurts. Of course running is tiring. What's the point of thinking otherwise? But what if there was something in life that gave you more energy than it took away? What would your life be like with an unlimited amount of strength and vitality? I want to live my life closer to Thee. As we age, even as our values stay the same, what we find most valuable may change. We're more and more aware of the fact that we can't make more time. Time is a limited resource we get to enjoy while here on earth. But what about energy? How can we run into each day ready to embrace the time God has given us? Isaiah chapter 40 verses 30 to 31 paints an incredible picture of energy and vitality. Even youths shall faint and be weary and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hmm. This seems to go against logic, doesn't it? To go against our life experiences in order to embrace the moments God gives us here on earth in order to enter into each day with exuberance, we should wait? If we're ready to have energy, if we're ready to take action, why would we wait? If we're experiencing stress and anxiety over something we cannot control, we end up exhausted before we even get started. In most Alcoholics Anonymous gatherings, a prayer is used to start their gatherings God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We wait for God to change the things we cannot change. Many things we have anxiety over, we can do little to nothing about. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 6, verse 27, that we can't add a day to our lives by worrying. Instead, we can wait for God to act. We can run. We can have life because God is the one who takes action on our behalf. When we were utterly powerless to save ourselves, when we were dead in our sin, our loving Father sent His Son to die for us. With His power, Jesus was raised from the dead and now lives and reigns with all the energy needed to sustain us, to grow us, to bring us to the finish line. May we awake daily with the unbounded energy to tackle what we have control over and excitedly wait for the Lord to handle everything else. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, help me to run this life of faith. Give me the wisdom to wait for you when I feel anxious about things I can't control. Thank you for giving me the strength to stand up under struggles and to run. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.